What is going on guys? Welcome to Greg Ellis TV. In this video, we're going to review and I'm going to tell you if you should buy or not buy the official ROG Ally 65 watt charging dock. It allows you to connect your ROG Ally to a television or a monitor. And without further ado, it's awesome by the way, it's, but let's get to it and I'll show you how it works. Okay. So here's the device. You plug this into the power and then you have the USB-C, which this comes with a long USB-C cable. Plug this directly into your ROG Ally and then plug the other end into HDMI and then HDMI either into a television or a monitor. Also, it has USB. If you wanna plug in a USB mouse and keyboard or mouse or keyboard or whatever, you can do that as well. I'll be using Bluetooth keyboard and mouse on my Ally connected to a monitor. All right, so here's my console. I have it connected. The only thing coming out of the Ally is the USB-C into that dock that I showed you just a moment ago. So what we're gonna do here is I have it connected and you're probably gonna have to switch it over to turbo mode. So just hit the triangle button and then we can switch it over to performance mode with our mouse. So I'm gonna switch over to turbo mode. There we go, so it's now a turbo mode, which will give me the most performance. And that's what you would generally want no matter what game you're playing, especially when it's docked. Also, it's gonna be a lot easier to navigate with a keyboard and mouse. I will list the keyboard and mouse that I'm using down below if you wanna pick them up. They're Bluetooth, both of them, and they both connect to multiple devices. So if you have a different computer or whatever, you can connect it to those two. So I have that all set up as well. So here is Armory Crate, but you can also, as you probably know this already, you can use this as a regular general computer. I have Google Chrome installed and it works just like any other computer. It's loaded up the Yahoo website. So here we go, Colorado Man, $3.8 million. So that's cool, I can do that. Um, if I want, I can also open up a game or anything else. I can open up, open up my file explorer here. So pretty much anything you can think of doing, you can do that on here. You can even open up you know, different settings. If you want to go to your settings, let me pull up my settings here and you can change different settings. If you want and go into your display settings, do all that kind of stuff. What I wanted to show you is obviously you want to probably use this as a gaming thing. So I'm going to open up a game here. So I'm going to be using an Xbox controller it connects again via uh, Bluetooth on here. So I'm just going to hit the Xbox button. And what's cool about this is, I can actually control everything from here, which makes it a little bit easier. I'll have to use the mouse if I don't want to. So I can open up basically any of my games or open up the Xbox home bar. All right, so here you go real quick, just to show you that I'm running Warzone 2.0 here. And if you want, you can play with a mouse or a keyboard, uh, no problems at all. Okay, now you don't hear any sound because I muted the sound, but you can have the sound play out of the ROG Ally itself or through the HDMI cable to the device that it's connected to if that device has speakers such as a television or a monitor or an external speaker system if you have it hooked up to that. Um, but yeah, I just don't have the speakers on right now. That's why you're not hearing any sound, but you will if you have it connected to something that has speakers. But again, see, it looks beautiful. No issues at all. It's running at 30 watts if you run it in turbo mode. So you can get some nice frame rates with games on here at that given power. And this game runs really, really well. I guess I should even turn on, let me, uh, I'll turn on the frame rate here so you can see. All right, and there you go. This is running at almost 60 frames a second. This looks, this game looks really good on turbo mode. And it's not really a graphically intensive, crazy game. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. I was wondering why I've, I was beating everybody. <laughs> but anyways, works great. All right, here's a game my friend made. I want to show this off. Gun Night All Day. And what's cool about this, the guy that did the music in it was in my band, my band growing up uh, when I was in my 20s. So it's actually a pretty cool little get that that happened and it is a dungeon game that you have to work your way out of and kill these guys here and try not to get killed you can get shot a few times 
Oh my god, I'm so bad at it though. Oh. No, don't shoot me, bro. Don't shoot me. You're gonna get me. Oh, I should probably beat these, click these, shoot these barrels on him. Here he shot himself. He shot himself. He's died. I think I'm one more hit and I'm dead. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. But and you can see it runs great 60 frames a second. And it's just another you know, big screen fun thing to do. So obviously you can play video games, you can use the web, you can edit videos, you can pretty much do whatever you want because this is a gaming device but a computer at the same time so it's awesome in that regard. So I love the adapter, I love that the, it, it charges it as well. Um, you can see I am at 99% so it's keeping it charged, it's allowing me to play at the full max 30 watts for turbo. It's awesome. I would definitely recommend buying the uh, 65 watt charging dock that connects you to a monitor or a television allows you to play your games on a big screen. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys down the road. Peace.